Hello everyone, my name is Dennis from Little Big Gumpla, and here's a review of the Master Grade 1100 Red Frame. Uh, pretty good build, so let's go ahead and start the review. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with uh, part one. We're going to go ahead and review the mo mobile suit and the articulation and uh, just little details about it. So let's go ahead and uh, let's start with the head. Okay, the head can. Do a f it can actually do a full 360. It's pretty hard to do though. I mean, I always wonder, like, I've always seen reviewers do the full 360, but it's like, when do we actually need to do a 360 on our Gundams? But I'll save that for a questionnaire uh, video. But um, the, the, the head looks really good. Um, there's a sticker right there on the eyes, on the top sensor, and in the back. Um, honestly, I should have painted it green. Um, this one actually, um, um, I was going to keep a sticker, but the back I should have painted it green, and perhaps I should have painted the eyes. But, um, I'm, honestly, guys, I am so lazy when doing small detailing painting. Like, I just don't want to do it sometimes, uh, because I actually have, I always work, and, um, <laughs> like, no lie, I've been doing a lot of Gears of War. Um, anyway, anyway back, back to the review. Um, but I think about the head is this the antenna. You see, it's like it doesn't want to stay in. Like I'll try and push, 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 but it just it doesn't want to stay in. So you know, I actually kind of like it that way because for some reason I don't like it when it's pointed out. So I push it back, and I think it kind of looks really cool like that. It might be just me, but he has like more of a, I guess a ninja or samurai look to him. When it's like all the way down instead of like all the way up like that, like that makes it more look more look more like a Gundam. But this is like, you know, hey, I'm I'm fast. But um, yeah, that's the head. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and work on the arms. Um, I accidentally oh there it is. Uh, I accidentally broke this piece. It was this little piece up here? That piece up there is supposed to be a little peg, and it broke. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put this back in. So it kind of just hangs on one peg. It's not too bad, but nah, I'll just leave it off. I'll try and put it back in one more time, and if it doesn't go in, then I'll leave it off. And uh, yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave it off. But uh, it's okay. I'm I'm just gonna glue it later. Uh, but anyways, uh, the arm can do a full 360, so it's really cool. And uh, this the little piece right here on the uh, shoulder can rotate full 360. And it has two points of articulation. It has one right inside here, where to where that oh little V thing came, uh, came off. All right, there we go. All right, so this can rotate up, and then this also goes up. So it has two points. Oh, that's, everything about this gun falls off. I'll probably get into that a little later. <laughs> it's a good gun, but just pieces fall off. So and it's, it's the same with blue frame as well, but uh, yeah. So it it has these uh, little points right there and right here, and this actually separates, which is really nice. So like when you bring it up, bam, it has a little separation po uh, port right here, and the hands, the little wrist can move. Uh, okay, rotate a full 360, and these three are uh, connected right there and this one's an individual and the thumb is individual and it has a little peg to where you can put the uh... little weapons in there okay moving on to the torso the uh... The torso itself can you know move back and forth side to side and just you just trust me like <laughs> it it doesn't really have too much movement it's okay but it's nothing to like go crazy about. Uh, it also has a full 360 ro rotation. So yeah, uh, yeah, and this has a little side to side right there. So I mean, it has a l it has a little bit of movement, but it's nothing to go like really crazy about. And then this little backpack thing goes back and forth and can do a full spin. So yeah, uh, also. Uh, moving on to the uh, waist, uh, this can move back and forth. These little things rotate on a uh, uh, a little point, 
and these can move just a little bit so I just leave them in place okay and uh, legs uh, can't it can't do a full like it can't like rotate a 360 you can only do that much but when you bring it back you can actually bring it all the way up to its shoulder which is really nice so it has a, a rotation in here and inside here so just like that that you know it's really nice uh, and it separates from right here and also at this point right here so I, I, I just think that's like really nice it's it's the same it's the same leg as the uh, blue frame so you know if you if you already have uh, the blue frame then yeah expect pretty much the same Gundam just you know different parts but I'll, I'll explain that later also the um, the ankle is is separate from two different parts this piece right here is a separate piece so it can actually move like uh move back and forth uh, yeah back and forth side to side and uh it it's pretty good but i don't know it just some sometimes it, it doesn't seem to be stable but, uh, let's see the foot can do a full 360 back and forth and has two individual parts these two so yeah, I mean that, that's it's not too bad. I'm not, I'm not gonna really complain. And here's a little katana uh, holders right here. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much all there is about the mobile suit. Um, stay tuned next for the uh, part two, which would be the um, weapons. Okay, so just stay tuned and watch for that.